What's up? This is Ben from Wad Prep, and in this video, I'm going to talk about how to shoulder press for CrossFit. So the shoulder press, or the strict press, or the military press, or the overhead press, all pretty much mean the same thing. What I'm doing is I'm taking a barbell and I'm going from my shoulder to overhead in one fluid motion without any assistance or bending or kipping or legs of any kind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have my feet underneath my hips. I'm going to be standing up straight with my core tight. I then get my head out of the way, drive directly overhead and finish in this overhead lockout position. The overhead position is when it's technically complete. My elbows are locked out, barbell is stabilized overhead. See here, my knees, hips, everything's locked out. My core is nice and tight. From here, I get my chin out of the way, press directly up and finish in this locked out position with the barbell over the center of my body. So let's watch a few more reps. That is the shoulder press or the strict press. Now, this is a really undervalued movement in the sport of CrossFit. Luckily, if you follow a great program like Wad Prep Online Training, you will have quite a bit of strict pressing in your programming. And that's because the strict press has a lot of benefits. It will benefit your lockout power. So that means anything like a push press, a push jerk, a split jerk, a thruster, an overhead squat, a snatch, anything where that barbell is ending up in the overhead position, whether that's in your narrow grip, like the shoulder press grip, or if it's in a wide grip, it's gonna help that lockout power. That's because when we're doing strict presses, we're specifically developing those lockout muscles, okay? You're developing your deltoids, you're developing your triceps, all the muscles that it takes to press overhead and lock out, your upper back is involved. And then yes, we do have to have a strong core, which is why you'll see a lot of people when they're doing a one rep max strict press, it really does help actually to use a belt because it kind of serves as a crutch, gives you stronger core and allows you to press more weight overhead. If you have a really strong strict press, I can show you someone who can also handstand walk, handstand push up, whether that's strict or kipping, really, really well. Anything where we go like this, heck, maybe even thrusters. If you have a really strong strict press, it's gonna help you with thrusters. Just like having a really good, strong, strict pull up will help you with all the gymnastic movements. That tends to be what the strict press does for most overhead movements. Again, that could be the handstand walk, handstand push up, and all those barbell movements that go overhead. A common mistake that a lot of people make with the strict press, and I'll show you from here at this 45 degree angle. A common mistake people make is they're here in this front rack position, and then they press the barbell forward and around their head, and then eventually lock it out. Remember, the quickest way between two points is a straight line. If we wanna truly have the strongest strict press and the most efficient strict press, we need to make sure that the barbell is going directly up. If I go directly up from this position, I might bite off my tongue or chip a tooth or something. My chin is in the way. So the first thing that we do after we get in a good setup position, which again is feet directly under the hips, I lock down my core. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about flexing my core so that my belly button is pulling back into my spine, really keeping my rib cage down. I don't want to flare out like this. So I I'm, have a tight core. My glutes are tight. I'm squeezing my butt right now, squeezing my quads a little bit. Everything's locked. My trunk is solid. From here, the first thing that I do is I get my head out of the way. I get my head out of the way by tucking my chin and then I can drive that bar directly up in a straight line and finish overhead. And then when I come back down, same thing, it can come right back down to where it left off. I'm not gonna suggest that you graze your chin or your nose, but that's essentially what it should look like. I wanna have a minimal distance between where the bar starts and where it finishes. That should be almost a straight line. I don't wanna see the bar come forward. You see a lot of people, in fact, I failed a strict press last week, because I pressed out here and it got out in front of me and guess what? I could not finish the rep. So with that, another thing to take note to make sure that you avoid is it's very easy to, in a strict press, get a little bit of a knee bounce, okay? So you'll see people who they'll just get like a little bit of a knee bounce. Well, that's technically not a strict press anymore and it's more of a push press. Another thing you'll see is people press and they'll lean back like this and technically, 
Technically, it might help you lift more weight because you're basically, when you lean back like that, you're almost turning it into a bench press. But remember, that violates midline stability. We wanna to try to keep our core nice and solid throughout this movement. If I have any excessive bending, then it's changing into a different movement and it's not gonna help you out as much. So yeah, you might be able to press a little bit more if you lean back and get bendy, or obviously if you bend your knees and use a little bit of your legs, but technically you're modifying the strict press in a way that it's not really designed to do. And one more fault that I wanna mention is that sometimes when people do a strict press, they get their head out of the way and then they lock out here. As you can see, that barbell is in front of the center of my body. That's not what we want. I wanna get my head out of the way, press directly overhead, and then I finish in this neutral position where the barbell is directly over the center of my body. My head is back through that window. What we don't want is for the head to still be looking up at the end of the press. That would be the equivalent of push pressing like this, okay? Or that'd be the equivalent of doing a handstand push up where we're looking at the floor instead of keeping our head through. Remember, we wanna end in this neutral position where my chin is neutral, my eyes are forward, I'm not looking up, and I'm definitely not looking down. If you can do that and you finish with that head through the window, you will find you probably have a little bit stronger lockout power. If we wanted to carry over to help with all these overhead lockout positions, uh, and we wanna help with them gymnastic positions like handstand push-ups and handstand walks. It's really important that you keep your form solid here so that it carries over to all those other movements. So maybe you are still working on getting the strength, stability, and mobility to do strict presses. Maybe the barbell is just too difficult for you or you can't quite get that lockout overhead. Maybe your elbows are still bent. What we can do is we can modify and take it from a barbell into a different apparatus. Something that we love at Wad Prep is strict kettlebell presses. So rather than having both arms pressing a barbell, you can do the same exact movement with the same standards, the same setup, feet underneath the hips, core nice and solid, rib cage down, head neutral, and all I'm doing is pressing directly overhead, trying to get that strong lockout. This is another great way to develop the lockout power, strength, stability, and mobility required to do strict presses. So maybe if you wanna work on your mobility in this position, rather than just doing presses, you can actually do overhead holds. So from here, if I get that, that kettlebell back and in position, I can really focus on keeping my rib cage down, keeping a strong, stable position, keeping that elbow locked out, not letting it sag. And this is a great way to help increase your overhead mobility. You can do that with both sides, and it's really gonna help you develop that stability, strength, and mobility to get that barbell overhead, which again will translate from that strict press or military press or overhead press, or whatever you wanna call it, and carry over into all of these other great CrossFit movements. If you're still struggling with mobility and you've already done some strict presses with a kettlebell or a dumbbell, you've already done some strict kettlebell holds, another thing that we can do to develop those same pressing muscles and maybe a little bit more of your chest is you could scale down to an incline bench. So rather than, um, doing a standing shoulder press. You could sit down in a chair and do shoulder presses that way with a little bit more stability and support from that bench. Or you can even lower that bench and make it more of an incline bench press. That could be a great way to scale down a little bit, still do pressing style movements and work on that lockout power, but just doesn't quite require as much stability and mobility to get it done. So I hope that you like this video. We've talked about the strict press ad nauseum. You know some of the mistakes to watch out for, you know how to do a proper strict press, and most importantly, you know how a good strict press can carry in to a lot of other movements. Personally, my strict press is around my body weight. That is a great thing to shoot for. If you can strict press your body weight, you are in a great position to do a lot of other things overhead with a lot of strength. But for a lot of people, that's not quite possible or they're not quite there yet. All that matters is that as you increase your strict press, naturally all these other movements will get a little bit easier because it's a core fundamental movement that it's like a, a foundational movement. It's a building block that we build on to in CrossFit with a lot of other movements. So if we get a good strict press and we keep striving to improve the strict press, whether that's our mobility, our stability, and overall strength, I promise you it's gonna carry over into a lot of other movements. If you wanna see more coaching tips like this, if you want me to send you some free training guides to help you improve those skills that I talked about earlier, then go to wadprep.com and you can select a movement from a drop-down menu, and then I'm gonna send you a bunch of free content about that movement 
Again, completely free. All you have to do is enter your name and email. If you want to follow really good programming that programs strict presses and all the other variants that will, we guarantee make you stronger and fitter and more mobile and able to do CrossFit better, then go to Wad Prep Online Training. So you can just go to wadprep.com and then from the drop down, find our programming. Wad Prep Online Training is a great place to get amazing daily programming that will help you level up your potential as an athlete. And with that being said, in the comments below, let me know what is one thing you learned about strict pressing today that you will carry over into your next strict press workout. Let me know in the comments below. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. And of course, don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Peace. Okay, all right, five more seconds. Did I jerk it? Was that, was that okay? Did I do it?